if I may, just Please. respectfully just follow up. Um, I think one of the aspects of perhaps being an academic is a skepticism always about one's claim to reality. Mm. There's always a confidence interval. Mm. Um, there's the worry Excellent. about making a type one error, yep. which is accepting something as a truth when in fact it may not. I mean, and, and it's actually, it goes right to the scientific method. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's rooted in kind of Popper's ideas uh, around everything is a question. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I don't want to deny your reality, but I guess one question would be is how do you do that and not and leave room for other people to challenge your reality or for you to engage with it in a more skeptical way? Um, well, I, I think uh, I'd welcome it. Um, I think we should talk about how we make decisions under uncertainty. Um, I think that um, the most interesting questions in life are made under uncertainty. So um, under certainty, we all do the same thing. So, so under uncertainty, we use weight of evidence. So uh, I, I use weight of evidence when I make hard decisions like, you know, uh, should I marry uh, Lily, my wife? Uh, Lily, it wasn't very hard. So uh, <laughs> in your case, but it was an under uncertainty type decision. I think that we make when, in a relationship, in morality, in commitments to worldviews, we use weight of evidence. And I would say that I would invite people to discuss the weight of evidence, for example, for the resurrection of Jesus, for, uh, for pieces of the faith that I take seriously. I actually invite, I really wish we could take it serious enough to actually discuss these things because uh, some people think that, you know, you need a frontal lobotomy to become a Christian. Uh, you know, well, maybe I have one. I don't know. I became an accountant. So, so, so but, but I think, uh, so um, I, I do think that these are, uh, we're talking about weight of evidence under uncertainty. And uh, uh, so I, I, would, I would invite that.